Hello and welcome to another episode of Bright Sparks. Today I'm going to be doing another how to reputation type guide. Um, and today we're looking at Ravenholt. Now, this used to be a rogue only back in vanilla type uh, faction, um, but now it is available to everyone and anyone. Um, so here I am in uh, at the Ravenholt Manor. Oh. Um, which you can see is just here, just north of Durnhold Keep in Hillsbrad Foothills. Um, so, what I am going to do is show you uh, some good places to grind out the rep and uh, some good places for um, pickpocketing. Now, back in uh, before Cataclysm, Durnhold Keep was probably one of the best places to grind mobs um, for reputation. That's no longer the case, as most of the mobs that are there, um, not only do they not give, uh, well, they're, they're just big elementals now, um, and they don't really give any rep. Um, there used to be a good place uh, just up here in the Alterac Mountains, um, Stranbrad, which is uh, is a horde flight point there now. So if you're horde, it might be a, a relatively good place to do it, just because it's right next to the flight point. The, the mobs that are there are kind of scattered about and they're all in rooms in buildings and stuff so it's not that great and the uplands is pretty terrible now um, and Dandred's Fold it, th there's hardly any mobs there that actually give um, that actually give reputation so what we're gonna do is we're gonna travel over over the hills Brad and into uh, the Arathi Highlands as Arathi Highlands has two of the best spots for grinding out the mobs. Um, I have not found a single mob that gives more than a base of five rep. Obviously you'll get more, um, well let's say five, it might actually be more than that because uh, of the guild perk. We have the um, we have the Mr. Popularity rank one so you get five percent increase uh, on reputation gains. So, um, for me, I'm getting five and occasionally six mob, uh, six XP um, for killing these mobs here. So we're in Northfold Manor in the Arathi Highlands, which on the map is just here. Nearest flight point for Horde is Galen's Fall, and for Alliance Refuge Point, and it's kind of just north of Boulderfist. Uh, and kind of north east of Circle of West Binding. There it is, it's just there. So yeah, this is a pretty good place. Um, you can kind of do laps around the farm, uh, the main kind of farm area. Um, and you can kill these mobs really easily, they're like level 25. Um, level 24, 25 mobs. Uh, so easy to kill without too much problem um, and I'm getting five six yeah. so as I say you can kind of do laps of this place um, make sure you clear the buildings what I would say though is if you come across someone questing um, in this area uh, try and kind of be nice to them because when I was leveling and I'm sure when other people when you've been leveling as well um, the last thing you want is for a uh, a high level character to come along nuke all the mobs and then fly away and then you have to wait ages for everything to respawn again it's just a pain so I, I usually try and um, to, to group up with them if I can um, and if they're from the opposing faction I will usually leave them to it. So here we are. Uh, he's level 29, so I might leave him to it just for just now. So anyway, the other place is um, Stromgard Keep, um, south, almost directly south of uh, of where we've just been. There is sometimes a mob around here called Mares Cowl. Um, it's just behind here. That mob uh, is for a quest and doesn't give any rep. So, again, if you can avoid killing 
the ones that you don't need to kill so that um, the people that do need them for quests and stuff can uh, can get to them easier. So this is the other level, which is up here, um, and this is a good place. Um, once you've killed all the mobs downstairs, you can then just pop up here and start killing all the mobs up, up here. Uh, remembering to check all the rooms and all the buildings to make sure that you can get as much rep as possible. Um, a lot of these mobs will be stealthed, um, although if you're high level like I am you'll be able to see them without any problem. Right, so when you get here you'll find uh, a guy called Lord Falcon Rest and his bodyguard Otto. Now. Even though Lord Falconrest is apparently the syndicate leader, he doesn't actually give any rep. He is purely for a quest. So um, there is no point killing him whatsoever. Um, you would have thought that being the leader of the syndicate, he would have given maybe 25 rep. I mean, after doing some of the grinds for uh, some of the other factions, like the Blood Cell Buccaneers, you would have thought that there would have been a, a mob or two that would have given more than sort of five or six rep, but um, if there is, I have yet to find them. Oh, I didn't see that one. So yeah, that's um, these are the two best places for grinding rep, um, if you want to do it this way. Um, I'd say it is a long grind, just because you don't have any means of getting more than sort of five or six rep per mob. Um, which kind of sucks, really. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Um, that's the best way to grind it. As far as I'm aware, you will get reputation for killing um, most of these mobs uh, all the way to Exalted. Um, let me just check. Oh, no, um, that's wrong. They will only give rep up to uh, 11,999 of 12,000 honoured. So once you basically get to the end of honoured, then you have to hand the junk boxes in. So I will show you some good places for farming the junk boxes. So I'm going to cut it here and I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. I'm back. You're back. We're all back. Everyone's back. So. Um, I am in Searing Gorge, or as uh, I've been, I've heard it been called before, Searing George, and that made me lol. I R L. There we go. So anyway, we're in Searing Gorge, uh, and we're at Iron Summit, which is uh, just down in the kind of southwest corner, uh, just north of Black Rock Mountain. Now, this is uh, if you're doing a mass farm of lock boxes, it might be advisable to set your um, hearthstone here if you can. Uh, I think you can. Yep, there's an innkeeper just up there. So um, it might be advisable to set your uh, hearthstone there because there is a mailbox here, there's a place to repair, there's a flight point, there's basically everything that you could possibly need. Now if you're doing a mass farm of lock boxes, um, I would suggest having an alt that you can send them to because uh, because they don't stack it then takes up lots of room in your bags pretty quickly that's pretty cool so uh, one of the first places um, I would suggest coming is Blackrock Stronghold in Burning Steps now as you can see turn those nameplates off. As you can see there are lots of mobs all kind of together and they're all the appropriate level for having the uh, lock boxes on them. So um, I'm gonna have a quick run around these mobs um, and pickpocket them all and I shall see how many I get. Okay so that's every mob in this area pickpocketed um, let's see how many we got uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 14, that's not bad um, it's not great but it's not bad um, uh, I came here yesterday to try it out and I got 10 so 10 to 14 that's, um, that's not too bad um, 
I did go inside. There's some goblins inside that you can pickpocket, but there's only four of them, and uh, yeah, uh, it's probably not worth bothering with um, particularly. So uh, once you're done here, what I would suggest doing is flying back to um, Iron Summit, back where we where we were just a moment ago, to post off the junk boxes. Where is it? There it is. Uh, sell up any trash that you would have picked up, like exotic cookbooks, homemade cherry pie. Um, this this guide is kind of more for higher level players, um, because uh, yeah, I mean, you can do it on the on the lower level players as uh, on the lower level characters, um, because uh, you know. You only need to like be level fifty-ish to uh, to be able to to farm these mobs, but you'll find that it might be a bit more difficult. Um, what you might or you, what you should do as well. I mean, you can get fancy macros um, to, to to do all this for you if you want. Um, I just have auto loot on. I have my my uh, my pickpocket key bound. So that while I'm in stealth, I just have to press that one button and it does it. Off with you. Okay, Mr. Dwarf. Thank you for repairing me. I don't actually think I need to be repaired. But oh, you didn't even take my quail. God damn it! What's wrong with my quail? What's on your mind? What's on my mind? What's you not taking back? my quail? All right. Okay. So. That's uh, that's one place you can you can farm. As I say, the only problem with that is obviously that they you have to wait then for them to kind of regenerate whatever was in their pockets. Um, so the other option is to pop into here. This is Lower Blackrock Spire. Now it used to be uh, one of the best places that used to be available was uh, Tears Hand in Eastern Plaguelands, um, but since that's had a uh, level reduction, it's no longer um, you you will no longer get uh, these particular boxes from um, from these mobs. So we are in Blackrock Spire, and these are all high fifties. So this is probably one of the best places to get it. You will find that uh, level 50 to 60 mobs in... Um, you might even find that some of the mobs in Hellfire, um, they might uh, they might be able to sort of give you these uh, heavy junk boxes as well. I haven't actually tried that. Um, but these these ones are probably a more this is a, a guarantee guaranteed to get heavy junk boxes off these mobs so you might get lucky and you might get loads um, it's the RNG there we go there's another one so and because pretty much every single mob in here is a humanoid apart from the dragon kin um, well if you're doing lower black rock spire then you shouldn't have too much problem, but I would suggest getting the glyph of pickpocket um, to increase your pickpocket range, especially if you are a bit lower level, because obviously you want to stay away from the mobs so you don't aggro them. Because if you are a lower level mob and you're trying to do this on your own, if they see you, you're going to get owned. So and, and no one wants that because that'll just add time and expense. Um, now someone was saying that uh, what it's good to go and, and do the mobs in here as well because there's like four mobs in each room so you can go in here um, and this is on the way to Upper Black Rock Spire obviously um, and we don't want to go to is it Dragon Kin? Can I pickpocket? No. So Dragon Kins don't have any pockets which kind of makes sense but Orcs do You can sneak around, pick these guys' pockets. Um, there's so that's those two rooms. There's another three rooms up here, 
Uh, there's two guards outside there, and there's another two rooms on the other side there. So that's uh, that's a whole lot of mobs for pickpocketing. I'm not going to do every single one and show you, but uh, I'll just show you quickly um, the route I'm going to take. So I'll go and do those. I've do, done these guys already. I'll come out here, um, drop down. I think. Yep, there's more mobs up here, so I shall pickpocket these guys. And these guys over here. Be careful not to fall down. Um, those wolves don't detect stealth by the looks of things, so I shall pick one off of her, off of him, and him. No, no boxes. But as you can see, when we come around this corner, there are a lot of mobs. So we've got these mobs here, we've got ogres over there, we've got mobs over there, and down there, and down there. There's just, this whole place is just full of things. There's trolls, everything, and everything can be pickpocketed. So this is a fantastic place for, uh, for, for doing this. Okay, so here we are back at Ravenholt, and uh, I have a, a few heavy junk boxes here. So yeah. I'm just going to show you this quest. Uh, this guy also teaches uh, trains rogues, so if you need to be trained, you can always pop here if you're leveling up. Um, okay, so the junk box is needed. It's five heavy junk box, and you get some dust steel throwing knives as a reward. Now these are unique. So once you complete the quest, oh, seventy-five. Well, I got seventy-nine rep because of my. Um, my guild perk. Um, because these are unique it means that every time you hand in the quest you have two choices. You can either throw them away and destroy them or you can come down here and uh, Hi, you're a tall sell them. One. I mean they're one gold 32 so Alrighty then. as far as I'm concerned you can't turn a gold down. So I am doing that. Uh, there are obviously if you're of higher level or your guild has done some guild achievements, you may have access to the companion. Um, where is it? Where is he? The guild page, um, which uh, you can use as a vendor. Um, or you might have, uh, you know, means of. Uh, is it Jeeves? The engineering thing? I think that's what that is. Um, so that you can repair at and sell at, or if you've got um, the Traveller's Tundra Mammoth from Dalaran, they have vendors on, you can use those, um, which will make it a little bit easier and you won't have to keep running backwards and forwards. Um, but if you're not worried about gold, then you can just destroy them. Yeah. Um, so, th yeah, that's um, that's it. Ravenhall itself is not a very interesting, uh, not a very interesting place. Um, there's some named NPCs here. There's Master Kang. This is Orc here. I believe he's the only Orc up here as well. He's just standing here. There's uh, this guy. And uh, he's not doing anything either. And then there's a Night Elf down here. I believe he's the only Night Elf. I haven't seen many others. Um, she's a landscape architect. And she's growing some shrooms and some weird herbs, which I can only assume would be for poisons and stuff but um but yeah Ravenholt itself there's no there's no quartermaster so there's no rep rewards um gaining rep with this faction is purely um for for achievements for achievement purposes so you can, it will go towards your 40 or 50 or however many it is um i think it's 50 in the next patch actually in 4.1 um, exalted reputations, um, and it's also part of the insane in the membrane um, achievement, where you need exalted with the four goblin factions, the uh, Ravenholt, Darkmoon Fair, and you need to get honoured with the Bloodsail Buccaneers. So, I hope this uh, I hope this guide helps you out. I hope that uh, has given you some information. It might have given you some info that you didn't know before and uh, if you've got any questions feel free to leave comments uh, if it was helpful 
then maybe give it a thumbs up. That would be pretty nice. Um, it helps me, helps me out and uh, it gives me a warm fuzzy feeling inside. Um, other than that, uh, I wish you the best of luck with your rep grind. Take care and I shall see you soon.